I'm Dingo Cannon. I'm here in Okinawa, Japan, on my way to the Dog Bite Studios, where every week I'll be talking with a lethal weapon, TJ Madden, live from Australia, where we'll be touching on some of the hottest topics in pro wrestling from around the world. We go worldwide with exclusive interviews with some of the biggest names in pro wrestling and MMA today. Tune in as we go live here only on the Dog. Have you heard of Walter from, um, I'm pretty sure he's from Denmark? No. He's a massive, just king, you know, has... But he just has one uh, name. One name, Walter. Yeah, Walter. What? And he's like, a, he's got a huge following. I saw him wrestle live at the last Wrestle, uh, WSW show. World Series Wrestling. I've had a mind bike there for a second. And you had to just um, you had to just add that in there, didn't you? You always, every podcast you have to add World World Series Wrestling. Yeah, yeah. It's all about World Series Wrestling. How much are you getting paid for it? Because <laughs> I'm seeing nothing here on my end. I'm getting nothing, Jack. <laughs> I haven't seen anything either. I just love it. It's my favourite company. Dingo. You're the biggest plugger for them, I think. <laughs> I think half the seats half the seats are in there are because of you. You might be right, but Walter is just a huge human being and he can, like, he's very agile, has just the most nasty chops I've ever seen, like, pain suggestion. Um, and he was offered, he's like, WWE have been after him for a long, long time, and they've been trying to get him on the main roster, and he said, no, I don't, I'm not going to live in America, and they said, what? so, what if we can offer you... A spot in NXT UK, and he's there. So it's something that's happening. Like maybe that's, and maybe I don't know if it's Kool Aid or if it'll actually work and happen. Like I said, they're trying to do the develop, uh, not developmental, the territory thing with NXT. Triple H is saying there's going to be stars that will always be in NXT. They won't necessarily name off, but. They will be the big stars of NXT and they'll probably move around like and bring themselves. Which is actually good. Like thinking about it. Imagine the experience you it. Well the downside is <laughs> the the development the the performance center, because that's where they're training them all to wrestle the same. So that's the thing that's going to railroad with this whole thing. The performance centers, because they're all going to be trained the same, so moving around territory to territory isn't going to mean anything, because you're all doing the same styles. But they that still have. Well, true, but they still do have their all unique personalities, I guess, you know, and their, and their looks. Yeah. But that means nothing if you're going to wrestle the same in each territory. And that's very true, and especially uh, more so in, in Mexico and Japan. I mean, if they do WWE, yes. WWE Mexico, I can tell you from Funda oh. being in Mexico at CMLL. No one's gonna care. No one will care, no. man. No. Like there's a, there's about like a thousand indies in Mexico, and there's like so many wrestlers, and who cares? No one. Yeah. Like they care about. They just turn up to see MLL because they watch it because it's something to do on the weekend. And they can just blow their yeah. trumpets, blah, 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 drink some beer, yeah. drink some Corona, and watch some wrestling. I mean, I don't even think half the people in there care about who's the champion. They wouldn't even know. Like. They, no. It's just six man, eight man tags, eight man tags, eight man yeah. tags. Like, I'm telling you, Mexico don't care if they have the WWE brand in Mexico. Have I, I don't uh, recall them touring that. But I think they do half shows in there, but I don't think they've done TV or anything there, have they? No, because it wouldn't work. And if they did WWE no. Japan, no one would care either. Believe me, they, they can't even, WWE can't even sell out in Japan. Like, they struggle. Yeah. They really struggle with the main roster coming to Japan now. Yeah. So do you think they have, uh, like, they think it might be a bigger thing than what it's actually going to be? Like, even WWE, like, they're dreaming too big? I think they're just dreaming too big, and I think they're, they're losing grip of what they really are, and that's just a big showcase wrestling extravaganza, which we love, which we love. Yeah, yeah. Now, I know people might say, well, because I'm really old school and, and progress is progress, you should, you know, move on with with things. And, you know, may, maybe they would be right. Maybe I'm wrong. 
that you should you should move on and test new waters. I mean, that's great. I'm all for that. Yeah. But it could be their down. Yeah. As yeah. Well. Could. Yeah. And I uh, yeah, thinking about it now, maybe it's not such a good idea to and I've I've talked to like, how they how they how they also run their 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 performance centers. Well, I know in the states, and I won't mention any names, but I've talked to wrestlers that are quite close to me that have been in the performance center as wrestlers, yeah. and it's they run the place in fear, like no one's really happy at all there. Is it still like that? Because I thought it got better after Jim Morris left. Uh, well, he was one of the problems, but I see him turning up in the picture of WWE UK. Not Hugh Morris, sorry. <laughs> What's it? Prince Albert. Oh, Prince Albert. Everyone loves him, though, they say. Is that just TV talk? <laughs> they don't have to say that for TV, don't they? No, they... they but they do want to interviews. And I know shooting interviews aren't shoot interviews, but if you're on a shoot interview, why would you cover up whether you like Prince Albert or not? Well, if you're young, remember, if you're young and you still... What goes around comes around, you still never say never. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you, you wouldn't be shitting on the guys that are going to still be around and have a job there for life. You know, you still wouldn't do that. I mean, again, I, I can't I can't say anything about the man's character because I never met him myself. But what I'm saying is, from what I hear, it's run like a Nazi yeah. camp, and it's n okay. it's not That's a not a happy place to be. I'm just Jim Morris then. Um, but the, like you, like to your point. It's like the same, you don't want to piss the people off on your way up that you're going to meet on your way back down. Exactly right. So, you do have to be very careful. Yeah, I mean, look, imagine, imagine, like, okay, I, I can, I come on here with us and I talk wrestling, right? And I'm pretty yeah. open, but I'm still not going to shit on these people I wrestle with. Not yet. Yeah. I could, I could, I could say a lot of things about everyone in Japan. Yeah. But I don't. Because I'm still yeah. here and I'm still an active wrestler. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. And you're still planning to go for a, at least a couple of years longer, right? Still a couple of years and still still got a big big run planned, yeah. So. Yeah. That's good. 